Hey guys, and welcome to a new Vizong. Uh, I thought I'd do a YouTube uh, video because I haven't done one for a while. Uh, we're going to play Portal. Just a quick announcement. I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who joined me on my 24 hour stream. Um, we raised £150 for Macmillan uh, Cancer Support. Um, it was a great opportunity to do and brilliant to do. Um, if you guys want to check everything out, you can go by uh, on the Twitch, which will be uh, at the end. Uh, otherwise, let's get going with Portal. So this is the first time I'm playing Portal with a mouse and keyboard. I normally do it with a uh, keyboard, but we'll see how we get on guys. I'm assuming the controls are simple enough. Not really. And we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from Oh, and this is where shit goes down. Uh, if you've never played Portal, it is based in the Half-Life universe. One. Oh, well, well. Even though it's never referred to, I think, I think it's the same company or something, or something's referred to, but you never see Gorman, uh, Freeman or anything. Which is a shame. I think if Valve wanted, like, we're gonna do number three, I think they should have, like, have a crossover. You never know, they may have done that, I'm just <laughs> behind on the times, probably. Science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. So to begin with, you have to do a lot of just problem solving without without the uh, gun. All right, okay. Oh, I've lost the box. No, I need. I need to be in there. <laughs> oh. It's been a while since I played Paul. It is mental. This game. The second one is um, very sinister. Move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the buttons well, uh, are part of this test. A lot of people find uh, Portal very boring because it is just basically opening portals. But you know, guys, simple minds, simple things. Uh, but no, it's really good, um, especially when you get the gun and you start to like drop and you have to quickly shoot portals. It is, it is a good game. Um, very uh, different. You're doing what I normally play. Well, please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, mm. but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental filling crimes. And that's what freaks you out, the fact that she says that you shouldn't be tasting blood. And then what you do is... You get the gun. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portal. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. 
The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. You. Now you know shit's going down when she keeps crackling out. So we need to get there. The only problem is, is when uh, you go through that like door, it just stops completely. You can still fire it, but nothing happens. So off we go for a little venture. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. And there we go. Well done. Remember the aperture science. I have a thing about the cameras. The Doesn't affect the game at all, but you know. It seems to begin with it is very simple but I'll, um, as you'll find the robot starts to have malfunctions and the stuff she comes out with is hilarious there's one about the uh, birthday cake which is great welcome to test chamber four you're doing quite well there's that once again excellent work as part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely... Because I'm presuming I could be wrong. You'll have to correct me, guys. Uh, the reason she starts to malfunction, I think, is because it's set when... I'm sure this is set at the same time as Half-Life 1. But we're in a different facility, so I think when all hell breaks loose at the... That, um... Te like, facility with Freeman, I think everything starts going mentally... of a required test protocol. Our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Now this is when stuff goes mental with it. Loading. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused pro unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject hometown here. <laughs> And I'm sure, if I remember correctly, she does get really shitty with you when you start to uh, do things quicker, or she says they're hard to do, and you do them. And I'm sure she's called Gladys as well, I think. Or it's a name I just gave her, I can't remember. Off we right. All mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet, and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. There you go. Oh look, I can see myself. <laughs> I've got to time this right because it is a bit off. There we go. Jump. 
group. I never understood why, um, if you say that you got like little braces in the back of your legs, I never understand. I presume that's for when we jump and whatnot, it helps us. And off we go again. Da -da. So that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Oh, it's in right. Good luck. Have a f yep. Get over there. See what I mean by the little braces? Hang on. So I can turn around. I'm assuming it's to help us jump or something. Plus, wouldn't it be brilliant if you had an actual gun like this? Obviously, there's limitations, but at least you could get like down the street quicker or something. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Any danger. But, and I do apologize if I keep humming the song, sorry guys. It's got stuck in my head and I keep humming it. Off we go! The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Right, so and then I need to get up there with it. The enrichment center apologizes for this clearly broken test check. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. That's great when you prove AI wrong. <laughs> Let's see what this one holds. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Um some oh, here we go. momentum a function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals in layman's terms speedy thing goes in speedy thing comes out speedy things go in I love it. speedy things go in speedy things go out So as you guys will see, uh, my YouTube tent, uh, content will be very different from what I stream. Um, it'll be more like little games like this. Um, to always provide a safe testing environment. Ooh. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Right, okay, I'll wait for that to... I just wait for that to yeah then i have to wait for that to open the ball right okay <laughs> i'm just doing to myself 
uh, yep yeah, so like I was saying guys my YouTube content will be very much like games like this like little games we can just have a bit of a chill moment with one should be that. Ah. Didn't time it right. Right. Should be the next portal for us. Oh, maybe not. There we go, and we get the other part of the gun, and we can do our own portals on then. Than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject found out here. Nice to know, I guess. It's fine because we've got our portals in place. As long as we don't mess up the portals, we're fine. See how this one goes. So oh, I missed it. Take that back up there. first played this game I loved it I found it a bit boring to begin with but then I uh, found out that I loved the game especially when I found out it was very much half-lifey right. so we need one there Oh. 
Let's move that across a bit. So that's that one done. This is where you need to make sure you don't mess yourself up. test protocol we can no longer lie to you when the mm -hmm. testing is over you will be missed <laughs> you will be missed so lovely isn't she uh yeah i remember when i played this game uh number two uh number two was just as good uh and then when they did the dlc where you could play it together as the two little robots then that was a brilliant move. High energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided. Right. You are an excellent test subject. So we've got that. We shall put down there. Which I believe keeps the stairs. You have to be careful because it can kill you. I remember which ones you've pressed. Sometimes it tells you, sometimes it doesn't. And we'll call it there, guys. Um, I know I didn't speak much or give much commentary. Uh, very used to live stuff, so this is a growing experience for me. I will get used to it. Um, but like I said, more content of this sort of cabarella where it, I can play a one off or do a little mini series. Um, let's save it before we do anything else and uh, if you want me to continue with portal guys let me know in the comments below um hit subscribe and thanks for watching and i'll hope to see you again soon bye